Seven Wildlife Rescue is a group of dedicated and passionate people who rescue, rehabilitate and release wildlife back into the wild and they do this out of their own time and in their own homes. There's all sorts of reasons why bat pups can be grounded or rejected. They could have fallen from their roost. Usually we suspect that something's happened to the mum. She may be ill or she may even reject the youngster. And unless we're able to, to return that pup to the mum, the only option really then is to, to take it into care and to, to try to, to get it through to adulthood. The bat flight cage, we decided this is something that us and the bats really, really needed. It's really beneficial for bat carers and for bats all over this area. Last week, Stu, Nay and Ellie went to uh, Frame Bat Care to dismantle the cage, then loaded the flight cage and these huge panels onto this massive lorry and drove it all the way from Frome to Chepstow. Dean Farm Trust is a vegan farm and they rescue farm animals and they attract loads of insects and the insects are just fantastic for bats. It's in this really like scenic, beautiful woodland nature reserves all around it which are just fantastic foraging and commuting routes for bats. It's just the perfect location for our bat pups to just go back into the wild. This year we think we might be able to get one batch in the bat flight cage We've got about 20 in total. We don't think we'll be able to get them in the flight cage in time, which is why having amazing connections such as Mike from Herodford Bat Rescue has just been fantastic. This is the Hereford Bat Rescue soft release flight pen, which is a, a temporary facility that we've created this season because we were inundated with young bat pups. And inside there at the moment, we've got three brown long-eared bats, which we've raised from, from youngsters. And they are just reaching the end of a two week period where they've been getting used to, to the inside of the, the flight pen. They've been learning to forage. And to do so, we've been providing them with moths that we've been trapping elsewhere so that they can learn to echolocate successfully and catch those moths. The bottom of the cage is absolutely covered now with moth wings. So that's a really good sign that these bats are almost ready to, to be released. And we know that there are other brown long-eared bats uh, in this, this area because we've done uh, uh, surveys. So yeah, hopefully these, these three will, will go and meet their, their new neighbours. There are other much more permanent facilities, but they're so few and far between in the UK that we've had to build this one this year just to get our pups through the system. Seven Wildlife Rescue are, are building one at the moment down in Chepstow, and that's really exciting because we're hoping that we'll be able to work closely with them in, in the coming years, and that'll provide an extra facility then for, for the bat pups that carers all around this area are, are looking after each, each year. And I think it's really important that we're encouraging the new bat carers of the future to come through and, and learn and, and develop their, their own skills. Ashley Dale, who's coordinated uh, Seven Wildlife Rescue, has got a, a real solid team uh, of volunteers together there, and they're, they're working really hard, and they're so passionate about the animals that they're looking after. We just love bats and we're so glad that other people love bats basically and want to help us. We've only just started Seven Wildlife Rescue in May and just being able to have raised this much money and have this much support to allow us to achieve this amazing feat has just been fantastic so thank you so much. <laughs>